had a last time she made a free appearance was at her own birth. <laughs> Even then she charged the doctor because he had a front row seat. <laughs> Rock and roll began leaving its indelible mark on the USO during the 1980s when members of bands like the Doobie Brothers, Kansas, and Crosby, Stills, and Nash began performing on USO tours. Joan Jett also pitched in, performing her hard rocking act on military bases around the world more than 60 times since 1980. What drives you to keep doing this time and time again, even though you have to go in harm's way? even though you're in very uncomfortable circumstances, why do you keep doing this? It's the connection with the troops. It's the stories, it's talking about home, it's hearing about their families and their kids and sharing pictures, the gratefulness that oozes out from them. And it's, it's you know, it's just a really sort of a, a reciprocal sort of love. Is there a difference between the military audience and the civilian audience? I think there, there is. It's sort of, you know, there's an intangible. They're a great rock and roll crowd and uh, you know, very enthusiastic, very vocal. When you play I Love Rock and Roll, what do they do? They go crazy. Yeah, you know, it's a, oh, you know, the da dancing, the screaming, the fist go up in the air. It's great. It's a wonderful feeling. More of the Wayne.